It's your boy, Gin Keebs. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to install and find the right battery for your Bluetooth keyboard. It's a relatively very simple process, but there are some things to watch out for, especially to not fry your PCB. How you might fry your PCB is if the negative and positive wires are in the wrong order. The order of the negative and positive wire is called polarity, and I'll show you how to check it and switch them if they're in the wrong order. In this example, I'm building a KBD67 Lite with a Bluetooth PCB. It is required to have a 3.7 voltage lithium polymer battery with the battery interface model PH2.0. The maximum size for a battery for the KBD67 Lite is 90 by 38 by five millimeters. And in inches, that's about 3.54 by 1.49 and 0.19 inches. So when you search on Amazon, you'll notice that there's a bunch of different models, different sizes, and different milliamp hours, which will tell you how long the battery will last on Bluetooth. The one that I specifically got was the 3.7 voltage, 1400 milliamp hour battery with the model number 403281. Once you receive the battery, now we can go ahead and verify that the wires are in the right order. The black wire is negative and the red wire is positive. Please make sure that the PCB is not plugged in. Once you push it in halfway, see if the negative, which is the minus sign, aligns with the black wire and the positive which is a plus lines up with the red wire again black is negative red is positive if they line up correctly great you can skip this part if they didn't line up correctly then i'll teach you how to reverse the polarity to reverse the polarity you're going to need esd antistatic tweezers specifically the esd 15 tweezer. I would definitely recommend buying the entire kit because you'll be using these tweezers for keyboards in general and they're really handy to have. Once you grab your tweezers, grab your battery and on the end of the battery that plugs into the PCB, you'll notice that on one side looks like two front teeth. Before you do anything else, take a photo of the side with the teeth so that you know which order the wires go. On the side of the two front teeth, you're just lifting up the teeth just enough so that you can pull the wire out and you would repeat this for both the negative and the positive wires. Once you have the wires pulled out, refer back to your photo and put them in the opposite order of your photo. After checking that the PCB is not plugged in, we're gonna plug in the battery into the PCB. The black should line up with the minus sign, the red should line up with the plus sign. Black is negative, red is positive. Okay, now they're in the right order, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back, good job, great effort, let's go. So. I would recommend installing your switches and plate to the PCB first, and then plug in the battery into the PCB. And that ends the tutorial for today. And if you still need help with the rest of the build, I'll be linking in the description below a official building tutorial video from KBD fans, and also the links to all the parts and tools that I showed in this video. And if this tutorial helped you, Make sure to like the video so that others can find it too. And if you enjoy keyboard content, typing tests, more modding tutorials, franken switching, all the above, everything keyboard related, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do all those things.